wants is basically have the recipe, then we have the whole hierarchy of the, the brew house. This is a batch control system. This was made uh, for the brewing industry in Germany. So it's all German code. It's a lot of fun for me to work on it because uh, it is very difficult at times. But you can get an idea, runs through. vessel that's right over here and I'll after we kind of talk about this we'll just go through every vessel and tell you what it does and if there's any questions not a lot of instrumentation going on up here mostly software and what happens here is with the batch control system it really doesn't matter that's what's cool about a batch control system it's wide open we can be making cookies chips anything and what it does is it takes a global recipe throws it into the batch and each each the device, vessel, is programmed locally. So you take this global recipe, ESB, IPA, so on and so forth, and you throw it right into that vessel. That vessel is already programmed. They bring it up. What the brewer does, puts in ESB, automatically it starts the recipe, and the machines start automatic from that point on. So you don't have people opening valves in the old days. They control everything from right here. There's interlocks built in, safety's built in, and the trending of this software, we can go back through the high, uh, high cards and uh, look at all the historical trending, real-time trending, we can compare recipes, and that's really what automation is all about, is being consistent. Yeah. It's consistent all the way through. Regardless of that, we still have our lab coming in and check different data. So 